Of course, it's Wednesday already, so you know that already, but I'm excited anyway. Hey, Word Nerds! I hope you're all doing really, really well. I can't even say how much I missed all of you and posting videos and all of this Word Nerdy goodness. Of course, it is Wordplay Wednesday, so I have no idea what I'm going to talk about, but I'm excited to be here, so that's got to count for something, right? All right, I've got an idea. So lately I've been reading Self-Editing for Fiction Writers by Rennie Brown and Dave King, which I feel like Kaylin recommended, but I really can't remember anymore. I can never remember these things. Anyways, I've been thinking a lot about self-editing because this is something I'm notoriously bad at, reading my own work in order to find misplaced commas and awkward grammar and really anything. Your brain just tends to skim over something where you feel like you already know what it says, so you're not picking up those important details, and it's a really, really great skill to learn as a writer. But before I get into any tips, let me say up front that there's really no getting around having an actual editor look at your book if it's something you want to publish. I am all for getting your work as polished as you possibly can, and if you're posting on Wattpad or whatnot, these skills will be more than enough, but if you want to publish a book, you need to have a professional look at it first. So tip number one is to listen to your book. There are so many text-to-speech programs out there where you can input your book and it will read it back to you, usually in an awkward robot voice, but that's probably better because a soothing professional voice is easy to get lost in, and right now we're trying to pay attention to the nitty-gritty. When you're listening to your book, instead of reading it, you can hear all sorts of awkwardness in places that need to be rephrased. It's really easy to spot commas that shouldn't be there because there is a, a breath in the writing that you will pick up on pretty quickly because it doesn't sound like it belongs. The bad news is that listening to your manuscript can take quite a while, and it's hard to multitask while you're doing this because then you're not paying as much attention as you really need to be, and it's easy to miss things that are otherwise really easy to pick up on. So you have to give this all of your attention for hours and hours and hours on end, but if you try to do it in little chunks, it becomes a lot more manageable, so highly recommended. Tip number two is to take a break from your manuscript, put it in a drawer for a little while so that when you come back in order to edit it, you don't have it as firmly ingrained in your head of what is supposed to be there, so you're actually reading fresh and you're more likely to pick up on mistakes and areas where you could really go back and make things a little bit better. You hear this advice a lot, but it's something I'm notoriously bad at. I hate putting a manuscript away once I'm working on it. I just want to work on it, work on it, work on it until it's done, and then move on to something else. But your manuscript will really benefit from some time to breathe, and it makes self-editing a whole lot easier. This last piece of advice is more for big picture edits, plot, pacing, all of that fun stuff, and that is to write an outline after you've finished writing the book. Usually this is something we do before we write a book, but if you go back and do it afterwards, going through each chapter and writing what actually happens instead of what you intended to happen, you'll see where the plot can lull a bit, it, where your character arcs can use some work, all of that just by breaking down the story into something you can look at all at once rather than having to read the entire manuscript to get a sense of the plot, and I find this works really, really well. So this is the one tip I actually use a lot myself, and I would recommend above all the other ones, although listening to your book is really valuable, just not that much fun. That's it for today, but I hope I'll see you all for our next live chat on Sunday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet on my personal channel, I've been posting a lot of stuff there and would really appreciate some new subscribers, so I'll leave a link to that in the description down below, and I will see you all next time.